I have these dreams. They always begin with whispers and quick phrases in my head. Then suddenly, I'm somewhere else. But it always feels solid, real. Sometimes more real than me. Someone needs my help. Or someone is trying to help me. It's never clear. The names are all wrong. And just before it's over, I miss a vital piece of information, the thing I need for clarity, and I never get it. And just like that, the whispers are gone, and what once felt so real ends, quickly fading from memory like the mind is protecting itself. This is an early image of Earth from DSOS 2. And this is DSOS's final image. This is our first attempt at relativistic time travel. We were supposed to go 200 years into the future, contact HSS, retrieve data, and find a way back to our time. But we messed up. Instead of going 200 years, we traveled 1,103 years into the future. There's nothing left. As far as we are concerned, we are the last people in existence. We'll be returning back to our hibernation pods to live as long as we can. This message is in the hopes that there is someone out there that can hear us and help us. Is this really what you want, Parker? It's not about what I want. It's about what she would have done. But she's not here. And we still are. Look, Halper didn't second you to make her calls. I know. Look, Rogers and I will go with whatever you decide. But it has to be your decision, not hers. No one's even gonna see this message. Maybe we haven't exhausted all of our options yet. That radio signal? You seriously think this is the way I wanted to go out, Parker? Hell, any of us? Both of you spent a month on that damn thing, and we got nothing. I wouldn't call it nothing. <laughs> Sorry, but fragmented data with the potential to, I don't know, maybe blow up the ship? Ain't exactly a reason to start throwing rice. It was 13 exabytes, Victor. I don't know what that means. We need at least six months to sort through it. And we didn't even know what we were looking for yet. And no one's saying you didn't try your best. But we don't have six more months of food. We don't have six more months of oxygen. Our SKB drive will outlive us all. And honestly, unless you geniuses got another brilliant idea, it looks like hibernation is our best bet. What happened to Banner was not uncalculated. Nonetheless, it was unfortunate. Decoherence is a permanent stain on my record. This is not your fault, Reeves. No one could have predicted this, not even you. There's just so much we still don't understand. Look at what we've accomplished. We are the first humans to travel through time. We've literally come further than any human in history. Further than anyone could have ever dreamed. Everything we've done at some point has eluded explanation. And with this, I want to believe. I, I have to believe that she didn't die for nothing. That the universe has to have something better for us. Believe? 
and science, or are we talking about something else? Are they so far removed from each other, Rogers? Belief and dreams are what led the human race to the stars and what set us on this journey. Science gives us a base for belief and hope to spring forward from. Look, I can't ask you guys to go along with me on this based on this feeling. If going in those hibernation pods are your best bet, then I want you to take it. I'll figure something else out. I think what we do with our lives is ultimately our own decision, Parker. What's changed? It's got you banging on doors that you can't prove will ever open. And don't say nothing. I know you both are hiding something. It's... Dream. It's Daniel. Daniel, are you sure that's the name? Yes, that's the name. I heard it. You uh, guys want to fill me in? In short, Parker has been lapsing in and out of strangely detailed dreams since he was a child. Wait, he knew before I did? It was in his recruitment file. Should I read yours? Don't. It only gotten stronger and stronger since we've been on the ship. When we were processing the signal data with Reeves, I came across a digital signature. It kept repeating itself. Again, it was very weak, very old. I didn't think much of it, you know, it was just a fragment of a whole. But one word kept appearing in certain documents. The name. Daniel. And what's strange? Parker's never seen these documents. Anything veering slightly towards quantum mechanics, Reeves, filtered my way. You don't think that's just a coincidence? Subtle is the lore. Malicious he is not. This... This is the universe at work. An essential loftiness, sure, but not inexplicable. So that's it. Your big secret, a, a lucid dream. It's not just a dream. I, I can't explain it, and I know how it sounds, but it feels real. Like, for a moment, I am a part of that world, and it's just as real as this one. You know me, Victor. It goes against everything that I know, and I have tried to reason it away, but every explanation I've had. We are at the, the cusp of a barrier. And things are breaking through. Dreams are an active link to the soul. Through them, we can experience the world beyond the limits of time and space. Perhaps this dream is a connection to a time when and where Daniel exists. And for some reason, Parker's connected to it. So... A man sends barely decipherable data to Gray from who knows where, or when, for that matter. Parker has a dream about this very same guy, and somehow this means we're connected to a different universe? <laughs> There's another thing. This signal has been traveling for quite some time. It didn't come from a TDRS. It is very old. Reeves has been analyzing the redshift. The redshift dates this signal to approximately just under 14 billion years old. Radio waves were first transmitted as a means of communication, approximately 13,999,997,843 years after this signal was sent. Are you saying this transmission has been around since the Big Bang? I think you misunderstood where I was going, Gray. I know I don't have all the schooling you guys have been through. But I do have my instinct, and I trust it. Before I left for the Air Force, my granddad asked me if I believed in God, and I told him no. He said, that's okay. But there's gonna be times when you're lost, scared, you got nowhere else to turn to. And it's those times that you gotta look to the things that people have no direct evidence of. Whatever it may be, whoever it may be. Now, now, I have never had a reason to believe in some sort of higher power. But with you, you, Parker, I'm coming damn near close. Thank you. Whoever Daniel is, I just know he is trying to help us. I just trust him. He is reaching out across time and space, and we cannot ignore that. If only we had some way of, of, of contacting him. He has already contacted us. 
I had Reeves run a cross-referencing algorithm to collect all instances of Daniel in all disparate sections of the data cache. Once the decision was made to cease research, I never told him to stop. He's been compiling for the whole month? Reeves? On screen. What are we looking at? Do you see it? It's unified. Reeves, will it work? You remember my ability to determine probable outcomes is compromised. Need I remind you? No. I know. But can you try? You're the only one fast enough. The logic is sound, and the equations are stable. I can handle processing and matter conversion, but Rogers would have to pilot. I just can't tell you if it will function as displayed. Well, I guess we're going to have to take this with help from that something else. It nullifies Goodell's theorem. We can do this. Okay. What are we doing exactly? The fundamental equations of physics show no discrepancy for either direction of the flow of time. But that is in the way we experience time. Things break, they don't unbreak. That is our experience of the arrow of time. It's what Halpern based our whole mission off. But special relativity prevents any object in our universe from traveling faster than light. The universe self-corrects, actually slowing objects down so the rule is never unbroken. Our Lorenz factor models show that achieving superluminal travel could possibly send an object backwards in time. But it's always been impossible. Time doesn't want to be changed. Exactly. Everything that happens is, was, and always will be an immutable and unchangeable spot in time. And Halpern thought it would take 200 years to fix this? It took us 200 years to figure out that light doesn't propagate through a luminiferous ether. They were being optimistic. Wait, they named our ship after something that doesn't exist? I get some things. Halpern hoped to find a unified theory that could resolve the disparity in the gravitational equations between planets and atoms stars and molecules dive in deeper into the world of superluminal travel. You see, the faster an object goes, the heavier it gets, eventually needing infinite energy once it reaches the speed of 1c. Unless your light itself. Daniel's equations are beyond anything from our time. They show us a way, they, they prove the existence of a time symmetrical universe, the traversal of multiple universes. That must be where the signal came from multiverse, infinite space-time permutations. Whole universes living side by side with ours, universes where the arrow of time flows in reverse. If I may bolster your decision, I have made a keen observation. My base programming is to protect the crew from harm. Time and time again, that directive has been challenged with orders from all of you at some point, requiring me to adjust parameters. It has allowed me to learn and apply a new subroutine, one that factors in what I have defined as the human spirit. It seems that no matter how unpredictable the future or unfavorable the outcome, the human spirit grants a resilience that I fail to completely understand. What I know now is the true nature of my programming. It is not only to protect, but it is also to provide the information on the safe, the probable, and the limits, so that you may do what you have always done. Push past them. So, we're gonna do this. As I said, Rogers and I will go with whatever you decide, but it has to be your decision. All right. The SKB, that's got more than enough energy to make the conversion we need. We got a ship to blow up. Called it. No problem can be solved.
from the same level of consciousness that created it. It is better to believe than to disbelieve. In doing, you bring everything to the realm of possibility. Wise man's words. Gray believed that we were following the universe's natural laws, and this journey was ultimately the execution of our nature. Our true calling. And even death could not take that away from us. If eyes are the window into a soul, then dreams are the window into a universe. If time can move in both directions, then maybe there is a way back home. Maybe there's a time where our planet survived, where our families are alive, whole universes where the decisions we made had different consequences. And suddenly, there in the vastness facing the seemingly inexplicable, pushing past the safe and probable, that window It opened. I still have these dreams. They always begin with whispers in my head. And when it ends, just like that, the whispers are gone. What once felt so real, quickly fading away.